This is, this is turning out to be a pretty strange show because I'm trying. I'm trying to keep the music uh, continuing coherently, uh, but there's there's a few things I'd like to say about the digital university and the learning technology show. So here's more of a. I've got my notes here. I th I think I'll I'll probably mention most of this before about quarter to twelve. Uh, we'll see how how we get along. Um, the, from my point of view, what seems to be happening is that I'm I'm getting a lot more views on YouTube for very short video than for longer video. So there are clips from this uh, show and the drama show and the wild show, and they get a few views. Um, twenty, forty, three, seven, something like that. Um, but I've started. I've I've updated my phone, um, following suggestions from John and Chris and others, and um, I've been putting thirty second or forty second. It has to be under a minute onto um, the shorts bit, or it, it or sort of as, as long as you record it on a phone. It, it assumes it's a short if it's under a minute. And what I don't know is if the people who are watching those actually chose to watch it or if they just get um, included anyway. It's very, very hard to make it out. Um, but uh, what, I'm, what I'm doing is trying to relate the short videos to particular places. So if you watch them in a sequence, it's moving you through a particular space. I've done um, three or four goes doing a walk between the Phoenix, where the, the Phonic Studio is. The Phonic, this is Phonic FM, by the way. This is the We Don't Know show. The Phonic FM is in the basement of the Phoenix Arts Centre. And then not far away, there is... Well, it's, it's about a quarter of an hour away. There is the hub for innovation, the Innovation Hub, which is part of the University of Exeter. But they've, they've made a move into the city centre to make more connections with the city. And I've been to a couple of breakfasts uh, hosted by Tech Exeter. And eventually I'll, I'll make a better connection with the the cultural industry part of the innovation but it's, t it's just taking a little while to, to sort that out to find to find who um, would be the best connection for that or where, where that might go but um, the, the, the main thing to say about this is that the people who know Exeter can look at two or three of those shorts and realise that there must be other ones you probably know how to how to do that walk anyway um, but it lends itself to comments and connections to various topics. So if you if you start out with the idea that the innovation hub is is more or less techy, well, if tech extra there, you, you that's what you would think, and that the Phoenix is uh, an art centre, so it's mostly art. So that would be the starting point of those two locations. But if you actually got into conversations between people walking along between the two places, you might find that Tech Exeter are quite interested in um, games and broadcasting and all sorts of different things, and that the um, the Phoenix has got quite a lot of technology and digital approach to filmmaking or uh, other other. Uh, there's a recording studio. All, all kinds of other things that um, you discover and you might talk about in a cafe between the two sites. So it, the, the idea of it is to, is to use space and um, buildings as symbols of, of some sort of discussion that's going on. Some of this came from um, doing video for AMPS, that's Architecture, Media, Politics and Society. I'm not, I think I've got that right. It, they, they started out as, as architecture anyway, and they gradually got into uh, 
media. So I think me Mediated City is one of the tags that we'll, we'll find them. And the thing about it is that they accept video. You can you can send in video to their conferences, and they're they're quite okay about it. And so I did, I I've done two now, um, including clips of discussions with JD and Chris from the Wild Show Dur during lockdown. When I think a lot of these ideas developed, maybe, maybe they've gone back again. But there's various things that developed at that time. Um, so we weren't in the studio. We were we were in South Street. And I've used that clip in in the, both, both videos that I've sent into Amps, um, but I've also used some uh, stills and sound from an earlier video that they they published from Peggy Dierna, who was at the conference on education design and, and practice in 2019, and the the. The thing I took from that, we, we design scenarios. So the buildings are are intended as 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 locations for plays or um, the just the idea that a, a chat show or a, a, a journalist thing is is can be designed as a as a play. I'll come I'll come back to this tomorrow on the on the drama show, but just just, just to explain how these. Um, how these things are, 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 are developing and so the the latest batch was four or five on the campus so it's the the digital bits um, that's to say the digital hub the digital humanities lab uh, the DVDs in the bottom of the library um, and the notes about streaming, which is ne next to it, um, and the careers bit. I'll talk, talk about careers a bit more la later on. Um, so you could you could walk between these different places, or you could say that each of them represents something, and there could be comments added to that. So it might it would just work as it, or it might it might do it might it might. Um, might get get more more discussion going than than the other ones. 